All right. Well, welcome, everybody. It's good to have you back for another session of our webinar Wednesday. My name is Joe O'Donnell with Terrapin Technology Group. I'm a senior technical engineer and instructor with Terrapin. And today we're going to be discussing, uh, you saw the topic that we had sent out, four benefits of modernizing your law practice uh, with Clio. So we have our friends from Clio joining us today, and we're happy to discuss uh, some topics, a little banter back and forth. Uh, with our panelist Adam. But just before I introduce Adam and get things started, uh, just to note that if you have any questions, we invite you to please share those in the comments field. Uh, in the uh, chat session, we'll have someone on, uh, on note there to be able to take note of those questions and be able to answer them for you, or we can follow up with them after our discussion with Cleo. And of course, if you have any suggestions that you'd like to offer, or that we need to follow up afterwards, we're help, happy to do that as well. And as a reminder, a recording and all the slide notes will be in an email uh, following tomorrow afternoon, as well as on our YouTube channel. So let's, uh, let's don't put this off any longer than it has to be. Let's go ahead and introduce uh, our panelists that we have with us today. We're happy to introduce Adam Dennis. Adam is uh, with the Clio team. And Adam, why don't you introduce yourself? Yeah, thanks so much, Joe, and hi, everyone. Really appreciate you uh, taking time from your day to sit in on this. Um, just a really quick background on me. I joined Clio about two and a half years ago on the sales side. I was an account executive there, and then I became a team lead. And uh, more recently, I transitioned over to the partnership team, which is what I'm currently doing. I'm a partner account manager, and my role basically now is to support our wonderful partners like Joe and Terrapin um, and uh, help them in any capacity that I can. Thanks, Adam. So a lot of things on, on point that uh, Adam and I and the team have been talking about, and we want to get you right into it. So let's go ahead and kind of talk about uh, about Clio and what it can do and what we're what we're looking at here. Adam, uh, first of all, why don't you kind of give us an overview of the company and, you know, what it represents and you know how big you are. And, uh, you know, we're talking not post pandemic big, we're talking employee big. So why don't you give us an idea of what's going on? Absolutely. Thanks so much, Joe. Um, yeah, so really quick background, you know, Clio, we're, we're fortunate to be the, the leading cloud-based practice management software in the space. Uh, we, have, we work with about 35,000 law firms across the globe, have roughly 750 employees, 150 sales reps, so a really well-built out uh, team and organization. We have relationships with roughly 70 of the bar associations. And a statistic that I'm quite proud of is that we have a 98% renewal rate. So not only does Clio do a really good job of signing folks up, but when people sign up and start using Clio, they like to stick with us and they're in it with the, for the long haul. Impressive numbers there. So let's just say, you know, out of those 35,000 different firms, where do you see the, the, the best product market for a, a firm, maybe a small at mid-sized firm? Yeah, it's a good question. It's something that you know we hear all the time. Um, I would say that the best product market fit is anywhere in that one to 100 user range, definitely south of the 100 users, I would say. You know, we, we do work with 200 user firms, 250 user firms, but I'd say that sweet spot is anywhere in that one to 100. Um, really specifically focused on firms who are looking to consolidate their existing tech stack, right? What we hear time and time again, especially when it's on the sales side is that, you know, a firm would be using something for intake, something for documents, billing, client management, all these different systems that didn't communicate with one another. So I think the main value add in using something like Clio is to consolidate all that and use one system to house all these different aspects of the practice. That's a that's an interesting thing to talk about because a lot of them will look at, you know, we're we're looking to consolidate things, or you know, maybe they're using best in class, you know, a la carte different things. Where do you see you know, Clio, is there, is there some type of, of system or management that, you know, you kind of have as an end to end towards what you offer them? Because you talk about kind of encompassing, an, you know, a, a product that will do many of those things without having to go out to other things. What, how would you see that? Yeah, absolutely. I think this graphic illustrates it really nicely. Um, so to answer your question, Joe, what you can see here is our two main products, Clio Grow and Clio Manage. And in this way, it really demonstrates how Clio is an end-to-end -end solution. So on the left-hand side, we're going to focus on intake with Clio Grow. So it will support the firm for their marketing initiatives, lead conversion, and then Clio Manage is for sort of post-retention workflows, where you're actually going to manage that customer themselves uh, and sort of manage all the billing, documents, calendaring, all that good stuff. 
Um, that's kind of like the distinction I like to draw. Grow is pre-retention and then manage is post-retention. And in this way, you know, you're sort of overseeing that entire client lifecycle journey within one system. Very nice. So how do how do grow and manage work together? Maybe we could work uh, answer that question first. Yeah, absolutely. And I can take a step back. So Clio Manage is sort of like the meat and potatoes of Clio is how I like to call it. It's been our sort mm -hmm. of core uh, product for about 13 years now. Uh, whereas Clio Grow was a company um, previously known as Lexicata. They were the leading legal specific client intake and CRM tool, which Clio acquired, I believe in 2018. And then we rebranded re re it as Clio Grow. Um, and something that we heard from a lot of our customers that it was imperative that the two could speak to one another, right? What good is it if you have something for intake and something like manage? It's almost like you're reverting back to the original pain point, which is why people were, will come to a practice management software to begin with. Um, so the two will communicate, right? The idea is that you can do all of your client intake in Clio Grow. And then once it's actually time to retain that client, you can export them to Clio Manage. So there's no duplicative entry. It's not like you have to enter them in Grow and then enter them in Manage. And then more recently, we actually introduced a cool little toggle. Um, so it's all within one screen per se. You can be looking at Clio Grow and then toggle to Clio Manage and then quickly switch on over uh, to manage the actual customer. Nice. I kind of imagine when you said that, you know, that switch is like a big easy button on your desk. You can just push and it'll just do it. The, you know, that's interesting because you, you know, a lot of times we, we, our clients will have separate products to do these things and they work great. But then the bridge between them is some type of manual process, copy and paste, email it. There, there's some manual process and it almost creates more work, even though those two products work great. So that's that's really nice to know. Now, are you know, being that they are separate because they're part of Clio and you mentioned how there's an easy transition between the two. Is automatic part of one? Are they separate products that you can you can get with Clio or is it just included regardless? A great question. So you can absolutely purchase Clio Manage as a standalone product, um, or you can do what we call the Clio Suite, where you get Clio Grow and Clio Manage and almost have that end-to-end -end solution. Um, some folks just sort of need the practice management piece. Client intake isn't necessarily a pain point. So we want to make sure that you can just get what you need and not necessarily have to sort of over-purchase. Um, but certainly we have tons of firms that go with the Clio suite, which is sort of grow and manage in one. Nice. Okay. Well, all this talk about this, let's just get down to what we really want to see here. Can you show us what it looks like? Absolutely. Absolutely. So I'm going to keep it pretty high level and I'm going to do what, what I like to call a sort of value-based demonstration. But before I jump into the actual values that an end user would receive in using Clio, I'm just going to give everybody the lay of the land in Clio just so we can orient ourselves. So just want to confirm, Joe, can you see my screen just fine? Yeah, it looks great. Beautiful. Very clean. Thank you for doing that. <laughs> I try very hard. <laughs> um, so what you're looking at here is Clio Grow. As we said, it's for pre-retention workflows to help with client intake. Just going to give you the lay of the land really quick. So on the left-hand side, these are what we call our firm-wide tabs. It's the same in Grow and Manage. So we have like our, our agenda, contacts, matters, forms, documents, and reports. What you're looking at and taking up the majority of the screen is the matter pipeline, which is segmented into intake, hired, and did not hire. And the idea with this is to provide maximum visibility in terms of that intake process. So these different buckets are supposed to mimic the steps that a firm would take to intake a new client, right? So newly added, contacted, consult scheduled, consult conducted, and intake form sent out. All of these can be customized and you can have as many as you'd like to sort of mimic the steps that your firm would take. And the idea is to that move that lead through the various stages of your intake process to ensure that nothing's falling through the cracks. And that, as I said before, you have maximum visibility and transparency in terms of what stage these potential leads are in. Of Very interesting. We'll, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Of course, we'll, you know, we'll do a deeper dive, um, but just want to also give you the lay of the land on the managed side as well. Uh, so just switched on over. Um, of course, you can toggle, but I have both open just to make it as easy as possible here. Um, and in the same way with Grow that we have our firm-wide tabs, the same holds true with Manage. So we have all of our calendars, tasks, matters, contacts, activities, uh, billing, accounts, documents, everything under the sun as it pertains to the different aspects of the firm on this menu bar. Up at the top is a really nice search bar. You can type in a word or a phrase and it'll, it'll search the entire platform. A recents tab to view any recently viewed matters a built-in timer for any hourly work. And then this really helpful create new drop-down menu, which is what I like to refer to as the Swiss Army knife of Clio, in that you can perform any action or task within the realm of the program from this menu. 
Really quickly, I think it's also worth noting that for every single one of your cases or matters, you'll have a matter dashboard. So right now we're looking at the last one divorce. And in the same way that we have our firm-wide tabs, we have our matter specific tabs as it pertains to this particular matter. So we have custom fields, activities, so time, and, uh, time, time entries and expense entries, calendar events, communications, notes, documents, everything in this sort of easy to digest screen. So that's interesting. You know, I think a lot of people may have heard or looked at Clio in the past and just thought time and billing. But what you're showing here is is well beyond just, you know, keeping track of time and billing. It it goes more towards what a lot of firms have referred to. And you mentioned this term practice management. Uh, not that you can't do just time and billing as well, but you have nice functionality that goes further if they want to kind of encompass all of that those things into one. And that's the idea, right? I think you really hit the nail on the head there. Um, you know, of course, the, the majority of our customers, I think, in a way, first come to Clio for that time and billing pain point. But when push comes to shove, the ultimate value that they're realizing is that consolidation piece, having everything under one house um, and then the automation as well. So totally agree with that. And uh, yeah, now, now I'll jump into the, the core benefits that an end user would receive in, in using Clio. As I said, I'm going to keep it pretty high level and focus on these four general values, um, which are a really strong user experience, enhanced workflow automation, increased billable hours, and a strong cash flow position, and then a really great customer experience, which in turn generates more referrals for the firm. So I'm going to go one by one and show a couple examples of these different values. Um, and of course, as we said before, if you have any questions on anything that you're seeing, please just pop into the chat. But uh, yeah, jumping into the first one being user experience at Clio, we, we recognize that as much as we're a practice management software company, we're also very much so, if not more, a change management company, right? With that understanding, everything in Clio was designed with the user experience top of mind. Our product team put a lot of thought into the overall user experience so that attorneys would have an easy time adopting Clio and not have to spend significant amounts of time learning the system, but rather focusing on their billable work. So I'm going to jump on into Clio and show a couple of examples of a really strong user experience. And it starts right here on the Matter dashboard. As I alluded to a couple uh, seconds ago, one of the real values in using Clio is that when you're working on the last minute divorce per se, everything's consolidated, right? Something I used to hear on the sales side all the time is that, you know, I'd be working on a matter and, you know, I, I'd have to search through my e email inbox to find a particular email. Then I have to search through my server and find this document. Whereas with, with Clio, when you're working on this specific matter, everything is here, right? You have all those activities, calendar events, communications, and documents. And that makes for a really nice user experience in that there's no time being spent simply searching for information. You can focus on your work in that it's all centralized and organized for the end user. Another example of the really strong user experience is that everything in Clio is cloud-based. So you can access your information from your home, at the office, on your laptop, any computer or tablet. Um, so you're not sort of constrained by the office or where your server limits may be. In addition to that, there's a mobile app that's really well built out. I have the tab open right here. I work with some firms that exclusive re exclusively rely on the mobile app, whether you're using an iPhone or an Android, um, you can pretty much do the majority of things within Clio uh, on the web page, but within the mobile app. Um, and that sort of adds to the point of being flexible and allowing attorneys to work the way that you all want to work. You know, one, one note, Adam, on that is I have a client, there's a couple of clients, but one in particular that uses Clio and their attorneys will use the iPhone. Um, most, they all have iPhones in this particular firm. And when they go into the mobile app to enter in their time, they like to use the dictation of uh, the iPhone to be able to enter in their notes for their billable time. And they, they love doing that because it's, you know, it's one less thing that has to be, you know, dictated and translated or even typed in. They could, you know, uh, as one attorney told me, I can be uh, at my, you know, at my son's, you know, appointments or something, I could be in the car and I could dictate my notes into directly into it, uh, which is really, really useful. Yeah, that's a great point. And it's interesting you bring that up. I've worked with so many firms that used to like, they like pull up the Clio app on their phone and they'll use the timer built into the app and they'll do the work in the web-based version. So it's a really nice one-two punch, right? Sure. Um, so it's, it's funny that you bring that up. I think that's a really common workflow actually. 
Yeah, and another thought too, not, not to interject too much here, but I, I just wanted to mention a lot of our clients are looking for ways to, you know, the pandemic obviously brought to light working by remote and many systems that the, the firms had were geared towards working in the office. And they may have had a remote server and things like that, but even then, even with a remote server where they could log into their computers directly, like go to my PC, or they had a remote uh, desktop server, all of that was still dependent on power at the office and internet at the office. And sometimes the internet would go out at the office or the power would go out at the office. And when those things went down, everybody was disconnected and there's nothing they could do. So decentralizing some of these services like time and billing, because many of them have done this for Office 365 and putting their email out into uh, Microsoft 365, have also been doing the same with their time and billing or practice management software to helping you know, increase efficiency, uh, I think is a big part of it but also to kind of modernize and make it available no matter where they're working and include some of these newer features that their, uh, you know, their on-premise systems didn't, didn't give them. That's a really good point. That's a good point. And I think, you know, not to spend too much time on this topic, but that's large in part due to the fact that we have what we call data redundant servers. So even the event, there's a hurricane or a flood in one area and that impacts servers in that location, they're spaced out across the globe. And that's how we can guarantee 99.9% .9 uptime. So super important that, you know, folks have always access to their work. Great. Show us more. Absolutely. I think another really key example of how Clio creates an awesome user experience is with our open API and our app directory. So Clio has over 200 plus different integration partners. And I think what's so important about this is, you know, first and foremost, it allows attorneys to integrate Clio into their existing tech stack, right? So if you're using Outlook already and Zoom and let's say Net Documents and QuickBooks, it's not like you have to reinvent the wheel. You can still use Clio and integrate it with your existing systems and allow everything to communicate with one another. Um, so that's one thing that's super important to note. I think the second piece is that with the open API that ultimately allows firms to future-proof their firm, right? I think the pandemic, if anything, was a really great example of how things can change quickly as it pertains to technology and innovation and adoption of technology. And you know, who's to say that five years, 10 years, 15 years down the road, technology won't advance even further. So I think it's very important that we give clients the opportunity to integrate new systems and new pieces of technology into the foundation that they're currently using. And I think you know, having something like Clio really allows for that flexibility down the road. That's great to mention because we have... You know, we've done webinars in the past uh, with Laya, and they've talked about that great company to work with. Uh, Net Documents, obviously, we've done things on Microsoft Teams and Microsoft 365, and others to come where we'll talk about more of those integrations, not just with Clio, but with other things as well. So, great, you know, it's a great thing to have that type of openness so that you can work with whatever they have with whatever they want to integrate with. There's a lot of flexibility. Absolutely. And the last point that I'll focus on as it pertains to how Clio creates a really awesome user experience relates to our support team. You know, I think every team at Clio does a fantastic job, but a team that really deserves credit is our support team. Uh, they're available 24 hours a day, five days a week, whether you want to reach them by phone or email, um, or even within Clio, there's this little helpful uh, chat box where you can type in. And I, I believe their response time on average is one minute, believe it or not. I, I don't know how they do that. It's, it's pretty impressive. And I think Part of that is, is sort of a testament to Clio's size of an organization, right? Like we have roughly 800 employees and about 100 or so of them are dedicated strictly to support. Um, and with that scale and size, we're able to sort of tend to our customers' needs on an ongoing basis and ensure that, you know, you're not stuck in the mud with a, with a problem that can't be solved. And of course, you, you have Joe for support as well. <laughs> Thanks for the plug. Appreciate that. So where... What are your most popular integrations? I and mean, we mentioned a few there already, but what are some of the most popular you see from your side of things? Yeah, it's a good question. Um, I think the best way to answer it is probably by focusing on like the different buckets of integration partners. So for instance, for email, I would say that Gmail and Outlook are extremely popular. You know, you can integrate it with your existing system, whether it's desktop based or cloud based, and then be able to actually move your emails from your inbox to the communication folder in Clio. Um, as it pertains to documents, we have integrations with OneDrive and NetDocuments, Dropbox, all those good things as sort of to my point before, just to ensure that you can integrate Clio with whatever systems you're currently using. 
And then on the accounting front, we integrate with QuickBooks. Um, you know, we recognize that accounting is a different beast altogether. And ra ra rather than trying to do that in-house and maybe not doing the best job in creating an accounting tool, we decided to partner with the best in business um, and have a really nice integration with QuickBooks. So that's good to know. So with all those different aspects that can be integrated in and you have this great user management experience that you can work with, how does everything kind of flow together? What's How does the workflow work if you're going to be utilizing this? What's that look like? Yeah, it's, it's a great question. I think the beauty of Clio is that you can configure it in such a way that it works with your current workflow. So for instance, if you like you know, using folder structures within your Gmail or Outlook, that's totally fine. You can still do that. Now you just have the option to save it back to the matter in Clio. So it kind of goes back to my previous point. We really don't want to reinvent the wheel. We just want to make sure that we're optimizing and consolidating and allowing firms to be more streamlined if that's what they wish to do. Nice. Now we had talked about before, you know, Clio being kind of a practice management solution and it has that capability. Uh, it, it also means that it has the ability to store information. And we had talked about, you know, being able to store your documents and communications and things. Uh, what about firms that have true document management systems? Uh, would, would, is the Clio document management solution or, or function as you would call it is, is that more of a document storage? Is it document management? How, how does that compare with the document management solutions? Like we had mentioned the world docs and net documents uh, as an example. Yeah, it's a good question. And it relates to the, the second value in using Clio, which is workflow automation here. Um, but to answer your question before diving into it, Joe, the way I look at it is, you know, we Clio's intention is to be the number one most reliable practice management software, right? And practice management includes documents, it includes billing, it includes all these different aspects of the firm. But by no means are we going to sort of take the stance that we are the premier document management solution, right? That's part of the reason why we have these integration partners. Um, so in Clio, definitely you can manage your documents. You know, we, we work with tons of firms that use Clio for document storage. It is unlimited um, as well as management, right? Like there's a degree of automation. Um, there's versioning for documents, e-signatures, a lot of really useful things, uh, but it ultimately depends on what the firm's hoping to use um, Clio 4 as pertains to their documents, right? So for instance, if you have intricate workflows and you need redlining capability and, you know, really intelligent if statements as it pertains to your document generation, then maybe exploring a more robust document solution and then integrating with Clio is the approach, but it really just depends on the firm, I would say. Nice. And we had kind of talked about this where it, we didn't really see Clio as, you know, just for those that are, are joining us, as a competitor to a document management system. It's more of, if you don't have a document management system, this is gonna elevate you to using one at a, at a basic great level to get you started with using something and organizing things. But like Adam had mentioned, you, you said, if you need things that go above and beyond what we have, that's great because you integrate with partners that provide more of those premium type of things like ethical walls and things that go further and beyond um, what your document management solution does. So it's more of a kind of a stair step on what you need. Do you need some basic level? Do you need more advanced things? And either way you can be taken care of, which I thought was really nice because it helps kind of put things in perspective. Totally agreed, well, well put. Um, okay, so I guess I'll dive in now to, to the second value that an end user would receive in using Clio, which is workflow automation. Uh, I think it's important to note that regardless of what section of Clio the end user is in, the goal is really to automate as much of the administrative work as possible and create efficiencies where we can. So I'm going to jump on into Clio and show a couple of different examples of that workflow automation. And it starts writing Clio Grow. I think one of the really nice aspects of Grow is that you can pretty much automate your intake process. So for instance, you can put an intake form on your website or send it to the client, allow them to fill it out. And once they do, it'll populate in what we call the lead inbox. And here you can pretty much review any potential leads, folks who have filled out um, those, those uh, intake forms, and then you can either accept them or decline them. And if you accept them, they'll appear in this newly added section. And then you can move that lead through the various stages of intake and really capture everything as it pertains to that lead, making sure that nothing falls through the cracks. So in theory, no one has to be doing that intake. Of course, if you want someone at the firm to still own that, that's totally fine. You can still manually perform intake. Very Another nice. Really, yeah, I think this is like one of the more appreciated features, having that nice automated end-to-end -end process. 
I think another really nice example of the workflow automation is in manage with this search bar. So you can type in a word or a phrase and it will search the entire platform. As I said before, something I used to hear all the time when talking to clients is that they would just simply waste a lot of their time searching for information, right? But we're with, with Clio, having everything consolidated and having the intelligence to search throughout the system, you can see here that you can search within the matters, contacts, notes, activities, or even documents. We have in-text search, so you have the ability to upload your documents to Clio and then search within the content of that document to pull it more efficiently. So I, I know a lot of firms that have, um, you know, they have some type of billing approval process or workflow. Would that be compatible with what you're showing me here? I mean, are they able to, to kind of blend that or merge those together? Yeah, absolutely. I, I can show, I mean, so the next value is uh, time tracking and billing. And I'll, I can walk you through that um, in just a second, Joe, but certainly that's, okay. that's super important. Yeah, I'll just table that for the time being. Um, but really quickly, just to wrap up this section, you know, the last example of automation is how we integrate with Gmail and Outlook. So for instance, you can open up your email here, hit the Clio plugin, and then type in the matter that you want to save that email to. So for instance, maybe I want to save this email to the last been divorce. And I can very simply move this from my inbox or not move it, just store it in addition to my inbox under the communication tab um, in that matter. So now when I go to the last minute divorce matter and I hit communications, all my email threads are there. For the sake of time, I'm just gonna head on over to the next value, which is billable hours and cash flow. Um, so to, to answer your question, Joe, you know, it is it is super critical, as I said before, that you know, we're able to integrate Clio with the firm's existing workflows. So for instance, if there's a built out bill approval process, we want to make sure that you know you can take Clio and hit the ground running and you don't have to reconfigure all your internal systems. So one really nice example of that is if you go to the firm-wide billing tab, you can see that all the invoices within Clio are bucketed into different categories. So we have those that are in draft stage, pending approval, unpaid and paid. And a lot of firms, what they'll do is that they'll continue their sort of bill approval process, but within Clio. So for instance, they can select all these invoices, they can submit them for an approval to a specific attorney. That attorney can come in, review all the invoices that are um, have been suggested for approval, and they can go in, make any iterations, approve it, and even send it to the end client. So absolutely, that's doable in Clio and is, is uh, very much so a commonly used feature. Nice. So what you're telling me is I don't have to print all those pre-bills and give them to the client to or to the attorney to go through. They could do it. They could do it right here. That's absolutely right. <laughs> I know some of our I know some of our listeners are probably listening to that and probably like, yes, that would be great <laughs> if they would do it. Well, you, now you have the opportunity to do so, which is which is really, really nice. Keep going. That's, That's right. really good. Fantastic. Um, okay, so I'll show you a couple other examples of how Clio helps drive more billable hours and really creates a strong cash position for the firm. I think the most obvious example is that we have timers throughout the system. So right here on the top right corner of the screen, there's a built-in timer. You can start it, do the work, stop it, and then this time entry screen will populate and it will give you the opportunity to link it to a specific matter, um, ultimately ensuring that you're capturing all the available billable time in a given day. Um, as we discussed before, you can do this exact same process from your phone using the built-in timer there, which is really helpful. On the firm-wide dashboard, we have some really nice hourly or rather financial metrics that are presented on a daily, weekly, monthly, and annual basis, just to sort of plot out those financial metrics and then maybe see how you're doing based on those original projections. There's also a firm dashboard, which presents really helpful metrics that are super important to the firm. So for instance, the firm's utilization rate out of the hours in the day, what percentage are being billed for, you know, realization rate of those billable hours, what, what percentage are actually being presented onto an invoice and then collection rate, how well is the firm doing in collecting on those billable hours once they're already on the invoice. Um, so you can really run great reports on this and have these metrics front of, sort of top, top of mind at all times. Very nice, because so, yeah, those are all relevant things that the attorneys or you know the admin staff are going to have questions or get questions about. Absolutely, and then the last example of uh, how Clio creates or enhances the ability to collect more billable hours and present a strong cash position in the firm are the automated bill reminders. So I'm going to go to the billing section here, 
And under the outstanding balances section, you can see every single overdue or outstanding invoice across the firm. You can select them all and then hit send and basically reshare these outstanding invoices with the clients who have an amount due, or you can automate that and you can turn on these automated bill reminders and, and Clio will actually reshare these outstanding invoices with those clients at whatever cadence you indicate, which is a really nice feature. And those are just a couple of examples of how Clio helps drive more billable hours and helps with the cash flow at the firm. And that leads me in to our last value in using Clio, which is how Clio creates a really great customer experience, which in turn generates more referrals for the law firm. Every year, uh, Clio puts out what we call the Legal Trends Report, where we basically consolidate all the significant data findings across our customer base and we present it into a really easy digestible report. And one of the biggest findings um, in last year's report is that about 80% of new business for law firms comes from client referrals. So as much as it's important to create a really great experience for the attorney and for the user, it's just as, if not more important, that the end user, the customer, enjoys interacting with Clio as well. So I'll pop back into Clio and show you a couple different examples um, of how Clio does a really great job enhancing that customer experience. The first example that I'll point out is our um, mobile first client portal, Clio for Clients. It's an app that the clients of the firm can download and pretty much use to interact with the firm. So as you can see here, it gives them a, a quick glimpse into their case. They can send messages back and forth with the firm. They can share documents back and forth. They can even sign documents, which is great. And the idea with this is that if your clients want to engage with the firm over mobile and over text, it's doable. Of course, if they'd rather do you know, more traditional ways of communication, that's fine as well. But we just want to make sure we're presenting options for our clients. And that's a great that's a great thing you could do both ways, because obviously, depending on the jurisdictions and areas that our clients are in, you know, the, the laws are kind of catching up with the whole e-signature and or, you know, wet signature uh, requirements that they may have and what that may entail. But having the option because the clients are getting more in tune of, well, can't do you mean I have to sign it in paper? They'll ask you that. Oh, I have to fax that. Where do I find a fax machine? <laughs> They're yeah. so used to, you know, email, uploading the portals. They do it. I've done it with their doctors, you know, and their uh, real estate agents so much that it's now spilling over into what their expectations are in other areas. Absolutely. It's good. It's a good call out. It's also worth noting to your point, Joe, that in the same way that we have a mobile first client portal, we also have a web based portal. Um, in that if, if your clients want to share documents and receive bills all within the web, that's also doable, which is a nice feature as well. Nice. So, I mean, really kind of, can it, like we said, it kind of made full circle because you, you go from the intake and now you're going back to, uh, you know, tracking referrals for the firm uh, from start to end, which is something that normally is only done by one or two people and no one else knows what's going on or what the status is on things and how to track that. But now let, let's kind of change gears a little bit. What about accounting solutions? How, how does Clio work with different accounting solutions? Yeah, absolutely. Um, as I said before, you know, our focus is really sort of being the number one practice management software company. And we recognize that accounting altogether is a separate beast, right? It's, it's not easy to be the best at both. Um, with that sort of mindset in mind, we decide to partner with QuickBooks and other providers. So I'd say that probably 90% of our customer base are using QuickBooks for their accounting. Um, so much so that when you're on the billing page within Clio, there's actually a prompt to export right to uh, QuickBooks desktop, as you can see right here. Um, so it works with QuickBooks desktop, it works with QuickBooks online. What's nice about the online version is that there's an auto sync. So all the information from Clio will populate in QuickBooks online, but either are, are more than fine. Nice. Yeah, because a lot of our, I would say, 99.9% .9 of our clients that we've worked with in, in the legal field, most of them have QuickBooks for the accounting side of things. Uh, there are some others that are outside of that, but most of them are because they're using larger enterprise grade um, software. But by large and by a large part, it, it's going to be QuickBooks. Um, so that that's good to know. And the nice to know what the what the transition looks like. Now, speaking of transitions, for firms that are interested in making a transition from whatever they're using to, to Clio. I mean, this is kind of a loaded question that we go for, for much longer, but just briefly, what, what does that process look like? 
Yeah, it's, it's a good question. Um, it's something that Clio does really well, and it's all embedded in the cost per user per month for licenses. So migrations are an additional fee. Uh, same with our support team. Our migration team is made up of roughly 100 Cleons. That's what we call ourselves, Cleons. <laughs> um, but the point being is that, you know, being the leader in the space, we've done by far the most migrations um, from existing systems. So I could tell you right off the bat, you know, this is what we can bring over from time slips or time matters just because they've done it so many times. And the way it works is, once you've determined that you're going to sign up with Clio, we'll connect you with a migration ex expert and they'll map out what that process looks like. So on this date, we're going to do a scope of your current system. We're going to look at your data. On this date, we'll process it, mine it, make sure there's no duplicates. And then on this date, we'll have your go live. So we'll transition all that information from your legacy software into Clio so you can hit that ground running. Um, and then after that, you'll have your training. So we'll migrate the data, ensure that it's all set up properly, and then we'll train you on the system so you're ready to hit the ground running. Nice. That's a, that's a big question that's going to come up. And I honestly, it scares a lot of firms because I've been using some of the software for a long time. And there's a lot of history, familiarity and other things. So, you know, knowing that there's someone there to kind of go through step by step, know the right questions to ask that maybe they don't know to ask is super, super helpful to help them make a, you know, make an informed decision on what to do and how to do it. Absolutely. Well, I see that we're, we're, Coming up on time, we're just slightly over, but in summary, just wanted to sort of recap that I think the real value in using something like Clio is that it consolidates all the different aspects of the firm into one cloud-based tool, right? So end-to-end, -end, everything from client intake all the way to invoicing. Um, and of course, there's a degree of automation that comes along with that. Um, so I see that there are some questions in the chat. If there are any additional questions, I'll do my best um, at addressing those. Uh, it does look like that Peter, my colleague, has done a good job at answering those. So just gonna do a quick scan of the chat here. Looks and by like the way, while we're, here. yeah, while we're scanning those, if anybody does have any questions that weren't posted in there, feel free to go ahead and just type something in and let us know what your question is, uh, whether you know exactly how to phrase it or not, uh, just let us know what you're, what you're thinking about as far as your uh, time in billing software, practice management questions with this. Absolutely. I see Janine's asking about cost. It's a good question. I think what's nice about Clio is that we have different packages and plans. We want to make sure that you're not getting more than you need. So we have different plans suited for what features may resonate with the firm. And that ranges from around $59 per user per month, all the way up to $145 per user per month. Uh, but I think one of the values in going through like an actual cycle with our team is that we can sort of help evaluate which features are absolutely pertinent to the firm, um, whereas other ones you may be able to pass up on. Good question. I see someone there talked about, does it integrate with World Docs? Uh, I just made a note that it does because I have several firms that are using Clio and they're using World Docs and they work uh, very well together. So that's a pretty easy one. See, Candice asked if Clio is the ability to replace share file where a client would not need to have to log into a portal, but rather just click an upload link and send the firm file securely. So. I'm not in absolutely familiar with ShareFile, but based on your description there, uh, where they can upload something to a portal and have it be secured in that fashion, interact with the firm, that's totally doable, either through Clio Connect um, or Clio for Clients, whether it's mobile or web-based. So it absolutely does sound like it. Yeah. Yeah. ShareFile is used in a number of ways like that, where they will have a folder that they will share with a client, and then they'll collaborate within that folder. Uh, with the client for receiving files or providing files to them uh, in a secure way. Certainly. No problem. And as Joe said, if anyone has any additional questions, either feel free to reach out to me directly um, or, of, co of course, reach out to Joe. Um, either way, we'll, we'll make sure to get you those answers to your questions. But you know, I, on behalf of the Clio team, I really appreciate you all taking the time. Um, and Joe, thank you as well. My pleasure, Adam. Thanks for being with us and answering those questions, giving us a real nice overview of what Clio, you know, what it is, uh, what what are the different features that are available, you know, talking about, again, practice management as a whole, or maybe there are just certain parts of Clio that uh, you need to help uh, feel an, you know, fill a need within your your firm. Those are all really, really good questions. And of course, this is all done in, you know, 
about 30 minutes for our presentation today. So if you, if you do have any other questions, uh, feel free, like Adam said, feel free to reach out to us. We can give you something more personalized and go into more detail uh, that is specific to the needs of your firm. Adam and Peter, thank you very much for your time and sharing your, your knowledge with us today and details about Clio and the service. We really appreciate you being with us and, and partnering with us. Thanks so much, Joe. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Have a good day.